Yes, I did go to Albertsons to buy Lucky Charms and lactose free milk because it's been a while and I've missed the Lucky Charms Tiffany and her sugar highs at 12 a.m. in the morning. The past few weeks I feel like have been really light in actual studio working content, less so of me actually making the work. Because the past two weeks, I've actually been working on like a pretty big freelance project. So my time has been taken up in that area and I haven't really had too much time to make my own stuff. That's why I've been so quiet on like Instagram with new posts and such. But I think after this week is over, I have to scramble to finish my shop update because it's been a long time and people are waiting for the little fruit key straps and lanyards to come out and so I need to work on that. So that's what this week is going to be all about. Thank you to The Coldest Water for sponsoring this video. If you like really really cold water, this thing stays cold all day and all night if you use ice. And if you want 10% off, my code when you check out is AC. The links are in the description. And yeah, go go check them out. Ah. Also, I got a hamster and I have some clips of him and I'll just flashback, insert flashback here. Pepper, your cheeks are getting too full. Oh my god. Go release it somewhere. Your cheeks are too full. Hello. I I got a hamster. His name is Pepper Hamson Cheeks. So I've been wanting a hamster for about a year now because I have commitment issues and I thought I can commit to a hamster. So I pushed it off for a whole year. But now that things are kind of settled down, I decided that I would fully commit I did a lot of research and I did a lot of debating on whether or not this was a good idea. Obviously, like the positives outweigh the negatives. So he is a fancy hamster or in other terms a short haired Syrian hamster and I've actually had a few hamsters growing up. My first ever hamster was a Roborowski which are like the tiniest hamsters and they're really really cute but the thing about Roborowskis are that they run at lightning speed and they're crazy fast and then I had a dwarf hamster which those are really cute as well they're a bit smaller but the last time I had hamsters was in middle school so obviously I didn't know that much about hamsters I'm guilty for buying them one of those really expensive overpriced way too small of a cage for hamsters that they sell at Petco. If you get a hamster, don't get those cages. It's better to get a bin cage like the one I have or to get like one of those aquarium cages. But then again, I have not a hamster channel so I should probably just show you my hamster. So this is, this is him. His ears are really perky and really cute. And he has been sleeping all day because he is nocturnal. During the nighttime, he likes to come out, but oh my god, look how big his ears are right now. He's so cute! Oh my god. Oh my god. So, let me show you like an overview of what his area looks like. And I kind of DIY'd this, so it's just the Bing Cage DIY. You can search it up on YouTube really easily. You pretty much just cut a giant hole on the top. Drill in holes for zip ties and you zip tie this chicken wire mesh thing to the frame that you've created and that way you'll get a lot of ventilation in the cage. I want to buy him more stuff eventually but currently I just have a little water bottle for him and I put a little cup down there that I thrifted a while back and that's only if he wants to drink from the bowl because sometimes he likes to switch back and forth and it also catches any leakage from the bottle. In the summers, it gets a little hot, so I have this in here for him in case he wants to sleep on the cool glass. 
I have this little wooden Heidi. It's a bendable bridge too. This ceramic sloth that my friend gave me for my birthday last year and I also keep that there in case he gets hot and he wants to lay on something. I made this little toy um, with tissue paper roll and he kind of likes chewing on it. He has some apple wood sticks. I've just scattered his food around because I used to put it there and he would literally hoard all of it and put it underground. So if I scatter it around, it lets his, um, what is it called? His scavenging instincts come out, which I think is better for him because he exercises and he doesn't get the food too easily. This wheel was probably the most expensive thing out of everything I bought. But I wanted a really nice wheel that wouldn't squeak at all because he is in my bedroom. And on this side here, I just have like a little bit of his stuff. Um, I got this pen and brush to clean out his bedding. I have two dolls here. I wanted to put it in his cage, but I was scared he was going to pee all over it. So I guess it's just decoration. I have this for when I get play sand and I can sift out all the poop and pee. I have this little airtight container from Daiso and I just stuck a sticker on it but this is all of his foods. It's like a mixture of pellets and seeds and all of that jazz. Eventually I want to get him better treats that I can kind of mix into. And this is the tiny trash can that was on my table but now I just put a bag in it and I use it to, you know, take out his pee and poo for spot cleaning. But yeah, that's kind of what I have for him so far. He makes me so happy and like I've fallen so in love with him because he's just so cute and even though I can't really hold him because he kind of bit me yesterday but um he doesn't really trust me yet because we haven't really bonded too much and I think my fingers were smelling like his food and that's why he thought my finger was food but I can't wait till we're actually bonded and even if we're not, I just like watching him run around. It makes me feel less lonely living alone. I don't regret getting him at all. Like he's so cute and I wish I've done this earlier because then I'll have something to watch over uh, besides myself. Oh yeah, thank you to everyone who helped me choose his name. It was really hard for me because I'm actually not really good at naming things. My friend started calling him Hamson. So I actually called him Hamson for a while, but then I did a poll and a lot of people seem to like the name Pepper, but I also like Hamson. So I made him Pepper Hamson Cheeks and I think it's a really nice long name and I can use all the names that I want to. I guess he's taking a nap right now. Oh yeah, that's true. This is a guinea pig. No, this is hamster. This is what I used to eat before. Oh, that's not going to run around. Can you buy it? Yeah, I'll buy it. Okay, I hope he can stay with you for a long time. He's so cute. I don't know. You don't know? I think he's so cute. You don't know his name? Yeah, he's so cute. 你还你不好奇他的名字是什么？是 pepper。啊？什么 ？pepper 就胡椒粉。胡椒，胡椒粉。对。那你以后回来就要带着它。对啊，没箱子不大，就小小一个箱子。哎呀，真是的。很可爱哦。Oh my goodness, he really likes you. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Here he looks like he got bigger already. Really? Yeah, he's muscular. I am so proud of you. Oh, instantly starts digging again.
I'm trying to like rush prep new merch because it's about that time when I have a shop update and I realized I have literally nothing to release. So I took I took this sketch right here and I transferred it over using um, what is this called? Using Adobe Fresco. It's pretty much like a, I would say it's like Illustrator on the iPad and it gets really crisp lines. I wanted to make rainbow catcher stickers for a long time, but I realized that the place I wanted to make them at didn't offer that option anymore. So I messaged them on Instagram. I hope they reply to me, but I ended up making this into a glow in the dark sticker. And I think it's actually more suitable for this illustration because it's a campfire. Um, they're gonna be like three by three inches, which I'm really excited for, but I actually really like taking my derpy sketches and just like making it into products. So I, I hope those turn out good. I've just been watching End of the Effing World. I didn't know season two came out and I got Netflix for this month, which is slightly why I've been a little bit slower with getting work done because I have Netflix. This morning I did two little Posca paintings for my Patreon originals. Um, I haven't been making a lot of personal work or just like, I don't know, paintings and drawings because I've been more more focused on working on client work, which I kind of, now that I look back at it, I wish I didn't take on so much client work because I actually don't have that much time to work on my own stuff. And that's why I decided, even though I'm super freaking busy, 
I decided to take time to just make a few pieces just to dip my toes back into it and get hyped up again for creating. I'm also currently working on my Patreon rewards for October because it's kind of that like mid-month time where I should be focusing on getting this out so it arrives on time. My Patreons wanted a Halloween theme and I thought for this month I would spoil them with a little sticker sheet so I'm just working on that. I'm not really happy with how it's coming out so far because I think I'm just a little bit like tired of like actually drawing and working so I don't know I might come back to it tomorrow morning when I have more energy again here is Hanson in case you wanna say hi to him he's very small and very cute and now I'm able to hold him without him biting me so I'm kind of glad he's having a blast He's so cute. Look at him. Oh. I always look forward to playing with him when he wakes up at 8 p.m. every night. Alright. Good night. Oh. Let's go out. Let's go out a little bit. I feel like being cooped up all day inside because of quarantine has been making me feel a little bit scared to go out for some reason. Like before Corona hit, I was going out everywhere by myself and I was super confident and like extroverted, ready to take on the world. And then now I'm like, even going out grocery shopping, I'm like, should I, should I go out? Nah, I can live another three days on cereal. It's fine. But I think, I think I need to go out. I'm a little bit like, I don't know. I feel like I need to treat myself to something. I'm gonna go insane. So I ordered a pickup for Rubio's. I'm gonna get a burrito. And I'm gonna just eat it in my car because why not? And then I'm gonna hit up Blix because I kind of wanna get some new like pens to try out and just art materials because it's been a while since I bought some of that stuff. I might also go to a cafe to sketch. Um, it really depends on if it's like empty. I'm only going because it's Thursday and I'm assuming that it's not gonna have too many people there and it's a pretty big cafe so they're really good at social distancing and they do temperature checks at the front. They also have hand sanitizer and everything so that's what I'm gonna do. Where's Rubio's? The reason why I finally decided to go out today was because I finished a bunch of my client work and so I feel really free all of a sudden. I was like working really really hard the past few weeks and stressing myself out. And now that I have a little bit of time, I kind of want to take a break and just sketch for myself. And the cafe that I want to go to, I've been wanting to go there for the past like three weeks. But every single time I muster up the courage to stand up and get out of my house, I end up just shipping my orders and chickening out and just going back home. So finally I thought I, I should just do it. Like They're pretty good at social distancing and taking precautions, so. Hold it tight. Look at the paintings, I'll be your guide. Don't 
Don't stop looking in my eyes Are you cold? Do you want to sit down? I've been here a million times So I know my way around Don't stop looking at me I'm home now and I feel really rejuvenated being around or like being able to go out and just be around other humans like socially distanced of course I didn't really talk to anyone but it just feels so nice to be surrounded by living creatures like myself and I feel really good I did a lot of sketching I sent out my orders I forgot to wash my car there's bird poop on it but it's okay no one's gonna see it I got this in the mail super super quick sneak peek of something that I'm gonna put in my shop in my next shop update I still don't know when it's gonna come out because I'm waiting for prints to come waiting for stickers to come yeah I'm waiting for prints and stickers to come in the mail which I'm hoping I'll get mid next week so I can quickly photograph them and possibly list it up soon but yeah hoping to have my shop update next week next Saturday hopefully so keep your eyes out for like a story countdown on my Instagram for these fruit lanyards to come out I have the little like hand strap ones like the shorter ones and I have the lanyard ones this one's just on my airpods case of this little milk but yes it is that time to end my vlog so I can actually edit this monstrous two hour long footage and upload it for you all to watch goodbye I heard that the Queen of England doesn't wave like this. Apparently she waves like... Anyways... Bye! Okay, well, I just remember.